Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Derek LeBlanc. I'm the president of the Kids Safe Foundation. We're a small nonprofit based in Oregon. And so I just we just started a Patreon account. So I'm, I'm basically I'm starting to just build more content for our foundation. Um, so we've been a nonprofit for about you know four years now, we reached about 21,000 kids in four states. And we've taught them accident prevention if they're ever to come across an unsecured firearm. And so part of part of this process is I'm building out new technology and using more and more platforms. I'm, I'm starting to kind of talk more about, you know, what, you know, how we all how we came into existence, basically. So um, the, our, my journey started back in probably 2014. I was a, a new firearms instructor. And so being new to the gun industry is also new working with new parents. And so at that point, I was I was concerned about potentially exposing their kids to a, an accident inside the home. And so, you know, being, I was from Eugene, I'm from Eugene, Oregon. And so at that point I started looking at, at programs and there was one available by the NRA and it's the Ed Eagle program. And so being from Eugene, I was concerned, you know, how well received it'd be for the public and, and or by the public, excuse me. And so at that point I, I started kind of researching, I decided to develop my own. And so I started in 2014. And so we, we started kind of just trial and error to see what worked, um, started meeting with the kids and the families, getting them involved. And so it was about two years of hard development. Um, and then about 2016 is when we, we became a, a 501c3 nonprofit. And, and since then, we've reached, you know, close to 21,000 kids in, in four states. And so, you know, basically... It's, you know, all about, you know, exposing them at a young age, make sure they have the tools and, and tactics to, you know, get out of that situation that are coming across an unsecured firearm. Um, it's never about, about fear. It's always about, you know, empowering their youth to make good decisions. And, and so, you know, part of that, we just give them good, good information, um, relevant information. There's a lot of, there's a lot of bad stuff on, you know, either social media or, the media in general, they're trying to kind of demonize our firearms. And, and so what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to, to show, you know, the public that, you know, guns, you know, especially in young hands, if, if, you know, we teach our kids, the kids to shoot as well, you know, so we do a lot of different things. And, you know, so part of that is just, just getting out of there um, and, and trying different platforms and, tr and trying to reach more people. And, you know, we have a new website that we just launched a couple weeks ago. And so this is kind of an, another component to that is, is, you know, I'm going to probably be a little bit more active on Patreon and, you know, it's all about telling the story and, and making sure, you know, people know about what we're doing and, and hopefully get support and help, you know, cause you know, being a nonprofit, you know, funding has always been a big challenge for us. Um, but, you know, we, we keep going, you know, we've, we've been very blessed to have some great partners and sponsors and so what kind of keeps us going? And so um, I guess the biggest thing I can imp is impress upon parents is if, if they have farms in the homes, make sure that you know, they're kept secure when they're not in, in, in use or, you know, being carried, you know, as an instructor, you know, I have a gun on me at all times, but when it's not on me, I, I put it in a secure box. And so, and plus, I educate the kids. It's very, very important that they know that the, the guns are tools, not toys. And we also talk about airsoft, Nerf gun safety as well. Uh, we also are covering, you know, video game violence in our in our curriculum, and we also cover, you know, um, you know, different anti-bullying type techniques as well. You know, so it's it's a pretty well encompassing when it comes to what we're doing for the kids and the for, for the public. And so our our goal is to be able to maybe do a podcast or so, or put out some information, maybe a couple times a week, um, just to kind of give you good tips and tactics on, on things to think about in your own lives. And it's all about protecting the kids. Um, we are a pro to a organization, you know, we're, we're very moderate with our approach. Um, but we're, our goal is to be able to reach every kid, not just the kid with kids with guns in the home. And so that's why we're starting to translate our stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm working with American Sign Language. We're doing stuff in Chinese, Russian, Spanish. You know, you know, these are kids that really don't have any accident uh, prevention education um, available to them. And so, what we're trying to do is, is you know, bring that to them and and make sure they're safe. You know, because we look at data. Data is everything. You know, for us. And if you know, if, it doesn't matter what kid, what language the kid speaks. If they they get hurt with a firearm or unsecured firearm because they don't know. You know, that that's that hurts all of us and that hurts our, our, our cause and our cause is about, you know, education, not restriction. 
uh, confiscation or regulation. You know, we, we, we've seen everywhere across the country where those, those tips by people that don't like guns or are afraid of guns, uh, those will never work. And so, you know, that's why, you know, we're, we're very thankful for the opportunity to be able to, you know, have a platform and be able to show the fact that, you know, education will work, especially at a young age. And, uh, you know, we're giving them good, good tips. And so, you know, we're going to kind of keep going and, you know, we, and hopefully, you know, make a difference. So, um, you can find out more information on our website, though, kidsafefoundation.org. Everything's there. And we also, you know, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook under Kids Safe Foundation. It's with two S's. And so if you guys ever have any questions, comments, you guys are always feel to reach, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And we're always available. And it's all about getting more people involved and help share the message and the me message about safety. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.